first year out equipped. Uh, we're really, really excited. And our biggest things that we're going to be releasing, and I'm going to take you around in a second, is how everything goes to splits off. So, um, first thing, what you're looking at right now, this is our YXL310 model. So, it's technically our lightest duty, quote unquote, residential model, but this thing is built heavier duty than most commercial models out there. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yep. So, uh, what you go in there, you go in level up to our prosumer model. And our prosumer model is built heavier duty than Said this is yeah, that's our prosumer model. I'd call this commercial. Oh, exactly. This man, is commercial. It looks like commercial. Yeah, that's even I wouldn't even call that for sure, man. No. No. If these things run like how they look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> they run better than they look, I promise. Oh, okay, well that's even better. So now you start stepping into the fact that this unit can turn into whatever unit you need it to be. So with just the flip of the lever. You're able to go and back off of this deck and go into a larger deck if you're a cutter, or you can, or even again, if you're a year round cu cutter and you're in the northern hemisphere, it could be into a snow blower. Now you don't have to go and get a snow blower, also an aerator, a leaf blower, whatever you need it to be, and you don't have to go and buy all those units. So basically, what you're doing is, is that you're spending, in this case, $12,500 to get to all the units in one. So you get the deck. But then you're only spending quarter as much to go and get anything else that you need that you would have otherwise, because you would have had to go and buy all the different units. Yeah, this is a brand new to the game. So you run a Kawasaki. Run the Kawasaki. That's all I got is Kawasaki. I don't run nothing else. And they are stand-up guys. They actually run their business and they work with their staff the same way that we do. So Kawasaki is going to be a better one. Um, you said these are just residentials. No, so no, that one is technically what it is, but like our CEO said, yeah. it's calling it residential. It's almost like disrespect. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then we go into our stand on model. So basically, our stand on model is the stand on version of this. Now, with the exception is that you don't have the split deck technology on, on our stand on model. So, our models, too, that you'll notice, we got touch screen displays. So, manage everything wow. from your fuel, you name it, everything is there. Man, it's got dual, see it got dual tanks on it. We do, we do. So these are prototype tanks, so that's why they look extra shiny. Uh, so they won't come out that shiny. You got your cup holes, the most important part. Pop it in there, no problem. Uh, on also what we have is it's not on our prototypes, but we have USB-C fast charging on our this model, this model, and our commercial model. Also on this model and our commercial model, there will be covered cup holders uh, for you know your beverage of choice, uh, whatever you're doing. And then when you go and come into see the split frames actually in action. So this is again. So we got one question. What's the correct way to say the brand? I say Yakta. Yeah, Yakta. Got it right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it right. So yeah. it's actually two two words put into one. So it's Yakka, which means hard work in Australia, and Ta that means thank you in Australia. So Yakta for all those it's hard work, right? Everybody's going and you know just leading for the family and going Man. better than them and theirs. So, so the, the thing is, is that so that unit that you're looking at there, that's our commercial unit. That's it as a this is that exact unit. Now a snowball. So by pulling that bar up, you back off, and then you pull on to a snowball. It also has an electrical attachment. Again, you just pull right on, the electrical goes in the pack. So we like to say is that when you're looking at the unit like this, this is no longer a mower. This is a snowblower. Snowblower. You go and put the deck on, now it's a mower. Now let's talk about it like a mower. That's a nice, that's actually a nice snowblower. You know it. So there's going to be additional attachments. Again, the aerator, the grater, the front loader. Now, if you're a commercial guy, and you need different size decks, instead of having two size decks, or sorry, two units, uh -huh. you could just have a different deck attachment for the larger deck. 
No problem. So again, you just pull off. You gotta You're really on. sit back and study every nick and cranny of what you need on more, basically. There's actually a, not a big secret behind that. Everybody says that they're actually built for the consumer. The reality is you need to be built by the consumer. So there's that famous Henry Ford quote, whereas that if I asked my consumers what they wanted, they would have said a faster horse. Well, they might, that might be actually the case sometimes, but instead of listening to what they're saying, listening to their concerns and figuring out a way to alleviate them is what we did here. Yeah, a lot of people like the standoffs. They just look mean and all black, bro. Ours definitely has like a cool look and all that, yeah. I actually think it runs pretty nice. 
Now I've drove a couple other mowers here. I don't like mentioning other brands of videos, but I like it. Like, that's why you call it so fast, right? Yeah, it's, it, it moves. It moves. Doctor, guys. So, this one's got it's a new one C5C tank. It's got four inches of suspension travel. So, four inches from top to bottom while you're driving. Uh, and it's got a damper on the inside to kind of smooth it out so it's not so fancy. Yeah. 